question comes from high schooler Jessica Acuna, who will be voting for the first time this year. <laughs> Jessica, what up, Melchis? What up, Melchis? So my question to you is, I'm, I'm a student, so I like how you want free education. Uh, but what is your plan to possibly achieve this, being that it would cost about $700, no, 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 $70 billion, dollars, billion. my bad, uh, per year, yes. more than twice what the federal government yes. spends on Pell Grants. Excellent. What, wait, I'm not finished. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just give both for the first time and make sure that question counts. So, would free college make higher education more efficient, more innovative, and higher quality? I'm sorry, I didn't get... Point the less so first. would free college make higher education more efficient, more innovative, and higher okay. quality? Let me answer it in this way. Gracias. Okay, this is something I feel very strongly about. 100, 150 years ago, very brave Americans fought for the concept of free public education. And what they were saying is, you know, working class kids, low income people, their kids have a right to get free education, it shouldn't just be available to wealthy families. Their kids shouldn't have to work in factories or on farms. Huge achievement. And what public education has been in this country from day one is saying free education for the first grade through grade 12. That's great. But you know what? The world has changed. Today in 2016, in many respects, a college degree is the equivalent of what a high school degree was 50 or 60 years ago in terms of going out and getting a good job. I believe that today, when we talk about public education, it should include free tuition at public colleges and universities. That's what I believe. And why that is a revolutionary idea. My parents, my dad came to this country from Poland immigrated here, dropped out of high school, my mom never went to college. There are millions of kids in this country who today, because of their economic circumstances, never believe they're going to be able to make it to college. What I want is for every child in America, regardless of the income of his or her family, to know that if they study hard, take school seriously, yes, they will be able to get a college education. Now, to answer, you raised a very good question, and your number was exactly right. The other thing that I want to do is lower student debt in this country. Millions of people are being crushed with high student debt. Every place I go, $50,000, $100,000, $300,000 going to medical school. We are fighting for both of those provisions. Now, you're right. It will cost $70 billion a year. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. How am I going to pay for it? I'll tell you how I'm going to pay for it. When Wall Street's illegal activities help destroy this economy and hit the state of Nevada probably harder than any other state in this country, you know what happened? Congress bailed out the illegal behavior on Wall Street. Well, you know what? Wall Street's doing okay now. I think that we should impose a tax on Wall Street speculation. It is Wall Street's time to help the middle class of this country. That will raise all the money that we need. Thank you. Hey, YouTube fans, I'm Luke Russert. Thanks for checking out our MSNBC channel. Subscribe by clicking right here and click any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives. Check it out.